after a woman in New York said Uber's helicopter service was the cheapest option she found on the app when looking for a ride home from JFK Airport. Kate Rooney investigated the economics of that story, and she joins us now with the results. Kate. <laughs> hey, David. So it's slightly more expensive than the subway. Uber telling me this was a temporary holiday promotion. But even at discounted prices, the margins on the chopper discount might not be that bad. By one commercial pilot's estimates, it cost $300 per hour when you amortize the cost of owning or leasing a six-seat chopper. And Uber flights only take eight minutes. Say Uber charges 100 bucks per person in a six-passenger chopper. They bring in $600, so at least break even. Stanford professor Robert Siegel telling me Uber may be taking a page out of the airline's playbook. Instead of having an empty seat, they sell it at a discount. And even if it did lose money, Uber is no stranger to loss leaders. That was a strategy. With ride hailing, it offered discounts to grow quickly and benefited from economies of scale. But investors, of course, are now focused on profitability now that Uber is public, guys.